The people who know more have a more obnoxious chat. I will say that this Twitch chat, you guys specifically, as as an entity, are very funny. Not good. Let's be real. You're not as funny as Doug Doug's Twitch chat, and that's because I'm not as funny as Doug Doug. So we all have to take our place as second best. You know, one day, if you make a very funny joke in this chat, you will be allowed to go to Doug Doug's Twitch chat. You have to be funny enough here to then move over to him. That's how it works, okay? It's not rigged, there's no divorce, I will not take three shots of olive oil, and you are not becoming mayor. Straight up, you're not allowed. But if you make a very good joke here, I will allow you to go and hang out with Doug Doug. It's like you come to me and you're like, Dad, Doug Doug said we could play. Can I go to Doug Doug's house now? And then I say yes. That's what happens. So you watch Doug Doug as well? Of course I do. One of the best, uh, one of the best YouTube. I've recently started watching John Wolfe as well. Lots of his horror stuff. He's good. Uh, um, and the the Stella J, really funny, exceptionally funny. Sometimes I watch YouTubers who are so funny. By the time their videos finish, all I do is hate them, cause they're just that good. Did you ever get that? God, man. I just I get to the end of some people's videos and I'm like, your editing's good, your research is good, your delivery's good. Fuck you. That's what I get. There's, there's no way. There's no way I can get there. Can't even, can't even pretend that I'm not annoyed. And then sometimes I meet these people in real life and I'm like, I hate you. Be my friend. <laughs> That's what happens. Oh, man. Yeah, musicians with someone's more skill. It's like I, um, I met, um, Kid Icarus, the, uh, the Crash Bandicoot god at EGX in London a couple of months ago. And first of all, lovely dude. Really, really nice guy. But after chatting to him for like, an hour, I'm just there like, stop. Stop being approachable, stop being nice, stop being amenable. Something about you has to be bad. I'm going to find something to hate. Because right now it's very difficult to find anything to hate about you, and that makes me very uncomfortable. Have you ever hated someone for no reason, and then you found a reason, and you're like, Oh, yes. Yes, I was right. I knew I was right. Yeah, that's a good feeling. That's a very good feeling. There's like that smug moment where you dislike someone or something and everyone else tells you you're wrong and then that person does something bad and you're like, ha 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 ha, guess who feels vindicated? Yeah. I'm not a hateful person, but sometimes it does sustain me. It does bring me joy. Right, let's open this chest. Empty. Empty. That chest is full of reasons to hate Cadicorus. There's nothing in there. 